We get tens and tens and tens of thousands of calls from New Yorkers as it is about people smoking marijuana, uh, hanging out. Now it's not going to be a police matter. A new day in New York, a historic shift in drug policy with legal recreational marijuana now a reality. Today we're hearing more of the public safety concerns from Long Island towns to the NYPD. It appears that it's, it's legalizing the smoking of marijuana outside. Um, and, and that's not something that most other states did. Towns and cities across the state will have the option to create tighter regulations for public smoking. In New York City, smoking marijuana will be banned where smoking tobacco is currently banned, including public playgrounds. On the PIX11 Morning News, Police Commissioner Dermot Shea sounded off. Smoking a cigarette is, is more frowned upon, uh, if you think, than what this might turn into. And, and you know, parents, kids, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough one for sure. And in the village of Freeport, Long Island. I'm opposed to the uh, sale and distribution of uh, marijuana in the village of Freeport. Today, Mayor Robert Kennedy said the tax revenue his village would receive from allowing the sale of recreational marijuana is not worth risking the safety of his residents. He'll be urging fellow leaders in the village to reject marijuana sales in their town. I don't know if, A, the police have the ability to determine the extent of influence marijuana has on a, on a driver at this point. It hasn't been proven to me or the police. Cities, towns, and villages across the state like Rockville Center and Freeport now have nine months from today to opt out of the legal sale of marijuana in their villages. They'll also be opting out of that 4% tax that they will be receiving from those sales. Reporting live from Rockville Center this evening, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.